All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Shizuke uh, Gardens. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be building a water buffalo exhibit, and it's uh, I'm pretty pretty pleased with the way it turned out. It's kind of just something to fill this corner over here, um, based on the way that I wanted the path uh, to wind around up to the uh, up towards the top of the zoo uh, after the uh, restaurant area. I thought we have something that's fairly simple, fairly easy um, to put in this corner, but also with neat, I wanted something that would take up quite a bit of space. Um, and the water buffalo do need quite a bit of space for it to look uh, natural in any way, so I went with those. Um, and I kind of want it, because they are wetlands creatures, I wanted to make sure I had plenty of water in there and give it a bit more of a... Uh, wetlands field and the other exhibits I've done up to this point. So I used the, uh, the mangrove trees. Um, and I went with these rocks, which I have used, they are the, they're actually the mountain rocks, um, but I, and I have used them earlier in the zoo at the entrance over there, um, but I thought they'd look a little bit better in this sort of wetland swampy area that I'm going for, rather than going with the, uh, the Mediterranean rocks, which I've been using mostly in the zoo. So that's what I did. With, what, that's what I went with there, and then I went with this. Uh, what is this stuff called? The pro protein king protein. However you say that. Uh, I went with this for like the border between the path and the uh, exhibit. I do like that um, plant quite a bit, and I'm sure as you've seen, I do use it quite a bit in my in my zoos. I think it looks pretty good, um, and it's not particularly. Um, the texture is not super detailed once you get like uh, when you're far off so it makes it pretty useful to use but it looks pretty good up close and it doesn't lag the game a ton when you have a lot of them close together which is what I like to do uh, and you can see it kind of makes a really effective like hedge uh, on the front uh, or in between the uh, exhibit and the path so just put four water buffalo in there and like give them the large uh, barn for the some shelter and uh, some privacy. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Not a real complex exhibit. Uh, just like I said, sort of more uh, to fill the space between the, uh, or in this corner of the exhibit, or of the zoo. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this one though, guys. Um, just gonna do this little tour here to show you what's going on, or show you the details of the exhibit. I wanted to actually, I should have gone into the actual exhibit, but I forgot to do that, but oh well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.